attention in the courtroom. Defendants? The defendants. Or the plaintiffs? The plaintiff is the one, is like the other one. The plaintiff is the one suing and the defendant's one defending. Okay, this is my first day as a real judge. Thank you so much. I just needed to explanation. So the plaintiffs are here. Please, your case. Why are you suing this big fat bitch? Your honor, we're suing this fat hoe because she's unfair, she's unbiased, and she can't read. That is not true. Listen, this bitch came out in a terrible yellow outfit and she still got a nine from her. Oh, oops. <laughs> Because welcome back, where the corruption shall be established at Crimson Monasteries Watch Alarms covering RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 Episode Cinco. Not the Backstreet Boys, it, like bangs. I am Geneva Carr. Backstreet's back. <laughs> All right. And we're better than ever. <laughs> so we have the Girl Group Episode. How do you think we guys would do in a, uh, in, a, in a, the three of us would be in a group? Oh, we'd be terrible. Which, no. Well, which RuPaul song would we choose? ASMR Lover. Catwalk. Cake and Candy. Okay, we're not. <laughs> we're already up to a great start. <laughs> All right, so the girls and the teens, nobody thinks that Team Maya is going to win Team Geneva. Which I love when that happens because you never. Oh, so you're already going to discount the girls? Before. And she's the best this dancer. Is, this is just the rehearsal. And they're already like, you're garbage. You're not going to win. Boo, boo, boo. But this Meanwhile. is where playing the fool is a very smart role. Well, I don't know why people get upset at Nymphia for hiding her talents when it's like, bitch, why am I showing you all my cards? This is a competition, bitch. Mm -hmm. If you want to start being strategic and placing people accordingly to benefit you, then I'm going to hide my talents and be like, well, you're not going to get me eliminated because you thought I was going to perform Baggy Stupid Bitch. From the Libra. You're not going to catch me slipping. Not too much. But yeah, I also like, if we're in Listen, they were all kiki ha ha laughing, but they didn't win. I don't know what people find so impressive about Amanda having epilepsy on stage. You are the only one, the only one that is seeing that. I thought she was fine. She gave more energy than Q. She listened. She danced better and sold it better than some of these girls. She just <laughs> Everybody danced better than Q. <laughs> Everybody. 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 Some people were not that great. I didn't find Megami's that thrilling. I, I forgot mean, she was on there. Oh, well, yes. Okay, well, before we get to the lip sync, the out of the three groups, which one do you guys think did better? ASMR. ASMR. Uh, yeah, ASMR. I'm so sorry. They were way more Listen, cohesive. But Janitza, you did good. Janitza is from South Beach, so as a representative, again, of Miami. Miami! You're if you are not a good dance. dancer <laughs> and you're dancing in the clubs, I don't know how you're, you're thriving out My here. My favorite so part hello. was... That was, Listen, that was I feel cute. like that was the funniest thing to me because I'm like, well, she's doing the basic. Okay, everyone else do. <laughs> and they do the, the drag queen windmill. And then the windmill, and that's it. And guess what? She's like, I'm going to do the opening number and get this party and started. And I'm like, you know what? Period. Period. Correct. I mean, I was going to say, because, girl, the one I would not have wanted was fucking Courage to Love. Let me tell you something. Which I was get it. To love? I drag um, race. That covers to love and to be oh, that song is horrible. I listen. I'm. I'm I understand. <laughs> RuPaul got to cash love. in and talk about peace, love, and all that bullshit. Yeah. I hate when they're like, I have positivity. Give me one, two, three. Oh, friends. Goodbye. Kumbaya, my lord. And T.S. Madison loves her some ASMR. Also, T.S. Madison. Baby, I'm drunk in love with this. She looked really good. Oh, she today. looked fantastic. I love the bantu knots and then a nice stylish thing. Like, that's real cute. It's yeah, giving 9.5 for yes. me. Because I was like, mother eating. And we get uh, motherfucking Tears Madison again next week. And she looks like a mermaid. I'm excited for Tears Madison. So, okay. Drama now. Drama. This episode. So, I feel like Plain Jane... Some of these girls, like Q for me, I'm like, did we need to go up and like talk about and hash things out with um First with of all, Q Jane? icon for being like you won, but let me cry because I got second place. It is giving kind of hot. I, like, really I know see the it's giving Lucy her. LaDuca, but I won 1400 mini challenges. Uh, yeah, and it's like I understand, like, okay, girl. you feel defeated, you feel whatever, but it's like, girl, you are high safe. Everyone else is doo-doo mid-tier. 
I or can, on the bottom. Like, where else do you want to be? I can empathize that, like, the you you feel you feel deep feel how you feel with keeping to yourself. That like the win is right there for you. You feel that you're so close because you don't see how much better the other girls are than you, which is great. But like, I don't really don't see how, why it's invalidating. <laughs> I don't, read. I don't see why it's so invalidating that she's according to Paper Plane, line. she's not gonna cry like you are. You know? I don't know. And it's also like, so what are we looking for? An apology? And what's the Do fat hoe's name? An apology for Ooh. what? Because she was saying, like, she invalidated her feelings. Fear her feelings. About, about coming in second. She's like, well, but personally, girl, like, I wouldn't. Which I'm like, but you did, you did ask her her opinion as the she, other... I'm sure, she didn't person. Just, I'm sure she didn't just pop out and say, well, I ain't gonna cry. I Somebody thought it was good to, like, it was like, giving Alexis Michelle. It really, yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Acting. Oh. I was like, what the fuck? Does yeah, it require all of the that? day, you came out in a polished bodysuit today. It was beautiful. You still got the nine. You still get the things. But you're still in a bodysuit. Yeah. As your runway look. You can do a bodysuit as long as it's executed well. I've learned that. That's I've why been, she got her nine. I've improved on my judging for that because you know it used to be if you're wearing the color black or a bodysuit, it used to be mm, body suit really very continental. But it is transformative if you add legs, a, a cape, the shoulders, no, the piece. That's the accessories. But that's what I'm saying. You can accessorize a bodysuit. I know. I'm not, I'm not diminishing her score ever, but I'm just saying. I'm like, at the end of the day, some of these other girls stood kind of like out pageanted you a little bit. Just a little bit. Now that you're not cunty in your own right, but it's like you're also. This is why they voted for Amanda in the first place. Is that like we got these people who are like top notch drag in their their in like their niche of whatever. Like mm-hmm. even Janitza out here, she's like what she's providing. It's like she's doing it very well, and it's like and that's why also Jinx Monsoon won the last episode. So I you mean, are in a room with some very talented people, and like yes, you are also talented yourself, but it's like. Girl, you're gonna have to step your pussy up a little bit more. And so, honestly, paper plane is eating everybody up. Yeah, burger finger canceled. No, I hated that song. I'm Girl, sorry. let the burger finger funny. nasty greasy finger. So in the bottom, Gives we do have happy. Q and Miss a mandatory meeting, and they both should have gone home for that lip thing. Um, no, I feel no. like Q it did her little cool. like auntie stuff. That struggle back shit. Okay, she had the struggle back because of that nasty corset, and Amanda <laughs> did eat her up in certain parts of the song. Yes. But then when Q got her rhythm at the certain parts of the song where she had to do the little one two part scooch. of it, she scooch. she completed that, which I feel like is something Rue would like. While Amanda chose to do a little whatever the fuck, epilepsy. and I'm like, it was a it little was an epilepsy, bitch. bitch. And the look did not help. It's like, girl, yeah, the she egg had- part is wrong, and the wig is. The Ooh. padding was also wrong. Yeah, the, the padding, padding was terrible. Was questionable. Like again, girl, you you drag is not like in, in inherently good or bad. Listen, you and know? everyone like, is in their yes, own journey. Hold on, and everyone's in their own journey of like, cause she just started. So that's another thing. So I'm like, bitch, you just started, and you're doing well enough to already be on RuPaul's Drag Race. So either it's like the Crimson Curator say. All art is valid. Yes. But not all art is good. Wow. And that's okay. I enjoy bad art. I will say her makeup does give theater because it's Girl, that mug was always painted. Girl, for Plasma's dust. Plasma and Q are already there in that category too. They're just a little bit more polished. Oop. The theater girl. Them you Lucille, the theater girl. I have had the vendetta against all theater people. Them the retire Lucille Ball. them Lucille Ball lips. <laughs> Girl. That shit is. I'm sorry. Like when I zoom into your face, all I see is Lucy Laduca, <laughs> or like, yes. or just I don't know. I just I see like you y'all see look the, the same. Well, with that mm-hmm. though, we do have to say goodbye to a mandatory meeting. I will say, bitch, I would have had to hop off the floor and land on my neck and let the life just drain out my body if I had gone home before a bitch that had read me to my face every fucking episode. And me not have to gut punch her in her fucking stomach. But I... Well... Well... She did have her little moments of mouthing back. She wasn't no victim. Right. Like, she wasn't leaning too much into it and crying and doing all that. She just... You know, especially, like, being picked last, for example. Mm. There was no crying there. She said, well... On the show... Hey, y'all, like, come on. On the show, you do get one crumb from me because you always... 
stood your ground. $10 million. Ten million. <laughs>